Today, we're talking about a feature that's been creating a bit of buzz, the now bar on One UI 7 and its role in media playback. The Galaxy S25 might be the next big thing, but it's currently falling behind the Galaxy S24 in one key area, media controls. Let's take a closer look at the differences and what we can expect in the future. Galaxy S24 has the edge in media controls. On the Galaxy S24 running the One UI 7 beta, there's a handy feature where the now bar can be minimized into a small pill-shaped button right in the status bar. It's an interactive button that, when tapped, instantly opens the media player widget, giving you quick access to your playback controls. It's seamless, intuitive, and super convenient when you're trying to control your music or videos without fumbling through multiple menus. Now when we compare this to the Galaxy S25, which is also running One UI 7, things are a little different. The S25 still shows the now bar for media playback on the always-on display and lock screen, just like the S24. But here's where it falls short. The Galaxy S25 lacks the pill-shaped button in the status bar. Plus, it doesn't allow you to access the media player widget directly from the notification panel, a feature that's available on the S24 beta. Improvements coming to the Galaxy S25 soon. The good news is that this issue isn't permanent. According to Ice Universe, a reliable tipster, Samsung plans to bring these usability improvements to the Galaxy S25 in a future firmware update. This means that the S25 will eventually catch up to the S24 in terms of media controls, ensuring that it offers the same seamless user experience. While we don't have an exact release date for this update, it's likely that the Galaxy S25 will get these changes around the same time the Galaxy S24 series starts receiving the Stable One UI 7 update in early April. Other devices affected too. Interestingly, this issue isn't limited to just the S25. Other Galaxy devices that launched with One UI 7 out of the box, like the upcoming Galaxy A2025 series, are facing the same limitations with the now bar functionality. But don't worry, future updates are expected to address this across the entire lineup. So there you have it. The Galaxy S25 might currently be trailing behind the S24 in media playback integration, but with the upcoming update, Samsung is sure to close that gap. Are you excited to see these changes come to the S25? Or do you think the S24 still has the edge when it comes to media controls? Let us know in the comments below. Today, we got some interesting news about Samsung's upcoming One UI 8 and its development progress. If you've been following Samsung's software updates, you might have noticed that One UI 8 seems to be progressing a lot faster than One UI 7. Let's dive into the details and see what's going on. One UI 8 development, faster than One UI 7. It looks like Samsung is speeding up the development of One UI 8, and we're already seeing some signs that the Galaxy S25 is going to be one of the first devices to feature this new software. The Galaxy S25 has recently appeared in the Geekbench benchmark database running Android 16, One UI 8.0. This is actually the second sighting of the Galaxy S25 Ultra's Android 16 firmware, which was previously found on Samsung servers. And now, the base Galaxy S25 model has been spotted with a newer version of the firmware, which suggests that the development of One UI 8 is moving at a faster pace than we've seen before. For comparison, last year, the first Android 15 firmware for the Galaxy S24 series showed up around May and July, with benchmarks appearing later on. The fact that One UI 8 is already popping up in benchmarks this early suggests that its official release could be sooner than One UI 7. Why One UI 8 could arrive sooner? So why is One UI 8 arriving ahead of schedule? Well, there are a few reasons behind this faster pace. First of all, Samsung has said that One UI 7 required a lot of planning and testing due to the major changes it introduced. On the other hand, One UI 8 is expected to be a smaller update with fewer major changes, which means a quicker development cycle. Another factor that's speeding things up is Google's new development approach. Google plans to finalize Android 16 in June this year, which is earlier than usual, typically. Android releases are finalized around August or September. This could give Samsung a head start in rolling out One UI 8. However, it's still a bit early to make any solid predictions. While June is just around the corner, we're still waiting for One UI 7 to begin its official rollout and that's the version most users will be receiving soon. That's all for today's update. What do you think about One UI 8 arriving faster than expected? Are you excited to see what's new with the Galaxy S25? 
Let us know in the comments below.